Hey everybody, Kyle Goth here from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel, and I've got my first reaction to the new film Oddity. I think it's Oddity, not The Oddity. I think it's Oddity. Um, this is a, a brand new horror film that's just kind of in limited release right now. I don't think it's got a major release, but um, it is available now and it involves a uh, woman who was murdered at her home while her husband was at work. Uh, some time passes and the woman's twin sister shows up at his door because she owns a shop of curiosities, of oddities, if you will. And she thinks she can use some of them to solve the sister's murder. Um, I went into this movie completely blind. Like, I'd seen the trailer, but I wasn't really, like, taking in the trailer. I try not to look at that stuff too much. And I have not seen the director's previous film, Caveat, but I did quite enjoy this one. I can see what the little limited buzz that this limited release movie has, and I'm all here for it. I think the performances were solid. I think there's... What's wild about this one is that there is less of a traditional story to this. I mean, at least from, from an American perspective, there's less of what we would traditionally think of as a forward momentum plot in that we don't really understand everything that's going on as viewers. She shows up at this house, the twin sister, she's blind, so she's she doesn't have all the faculties to be able to visually look at the evidence, but she comes in with this like creepy wooden figure that's in a box and she thinks it can somehow help. Um, she has this ability to to kind of look at things in a different way, to, to, to view the evidence differently because of her more spiritual guidance to these strange curiosities in her shop. Um, I thought the lead performances from the, the husband and both the actress that plays both twin sisters, she does both characters, um, is quite solid. You're able to tell the difference. And I know, like, of course, they change the hair on the characters. So, like, of course, you can tell the difference. But they are two drastically different performances that feel like they could be siblings. So you got to give credit for that. Um, the actress that plays the ex-husband or the husband's, the widow's new girlfriend um, is fun because she's kind of she's kind of that traditional, like, new young girlfriend jerk character. Um, but she plays it pretty well. Like I enjoyed the people that are in this movie and I don't know most of them. They are, they're, they're not actors that are familiar to me on the outset, but the director of this film does a very good job of kind of adding this unreality to the entire thing. Um, kind of constructing rules that may not make sense on the outset. Like it's hard for me to describe the film itself and, and what the various like lore mythology kind of things that are being presented but the director does a good job of presenting them to you, telling you loosely what the rules are, and then letting things play out. And so that's, I think, what's created for me the inability to understand what was going to happen next, but still the understanding of how the film was playing out. Um, I did not see the ending coming. Uh, it was a an interesting twist on things that uh, I was not prepared for. So you gotta, I got to give credit to a film for that because I think a lot of endings try to do the twist thing and it doesn't work. I think this one is pretty successful. And now the film is not perfect, but... Um, it, you know, it, I think it relies a tish on some jump scares. There are some, most of the scares that I felt in the film were less about the mood and more about like the, oh my God, what's that in the background? Um, which was successful to a sense, but it would have been nice if it had kind of created that dread a little bit more. But there was a curiosity of the film. There was a wanting to understand the film that I had quite often throughout. Um, and I think it does, it moves at a pretty good clip where I didn't, I didn't realize we were at the ending when we were at the ending. And I think that's because the film is giving just enough of the information you need, just enough of what would be pausing your forward action and just focusing on that action. Um, so that way the film never feels like it's sitting or wheels are spinning. It's moving to the end pretty quickly. And so I, I do appreciate a movie that's got a really nice pace to it. Um, cinematography was nice. It kind of had that same thing I talked about with Long Legs where there's a lot of open space. And so your eyes are always looking, you're always trying to see things. Um, some more so than others. And I think that there is, yeah, there's that kind of like wanting to to see through the darkness that's in this film. So I was quite engaged throughout. It seemed to work pretty well in the audience I saw it with as well. I enjoyed the film and I'm definitely recommending Oddity. Now let me know your thoughts on the film down below in the comments section once you've seen it. Um, and make sure that you like and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but it's 
It helps to support the channel and you never miss new episodes of the show. You can also find GoatFilmReviews.com for my many written reviews. You can find Goat Film Reviews on Facebook. You can follow me personally at Almighty Goat Man on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and Threads. You can find my show Kyle and Nick on Film that I co-host with Nick Palatichuk from the St. Paul Filmcast. That link's down there as well. We have new episodes of that show every single week, as well as a link for the Minnesota Film Critics Alliance, of which I'm a member. Look for other critics' reviews as well as mine. Thank you so much for joining me. Be a little odd, and we'll see you next time.